Now, surprisingly enough, not every business owner actually enjoys finances. I'm one of those weirdos where I nerd out over the numbers. Now, regardless if you love it or you don't, it's still imperative that as business owners, we have to know finances. So in this video, we're gonna talk about five reasons why business owners need to know their finances. So as we kick it off, let me ask you a question. If you were traveling to a place for the first time ever, I don't care if it's you know in the States, somewhere local, or if it's international, would you like to know where the safe areas of town are and where the bad areas of town are where you're most likely to get robbed, mugged, or some other criminal activity could happen to you? Now, most people will say, hell yeah, let me know where this criminal activity is so I can keep myself and my family safe. Well, guess what? Inside of your company, your finances can tell you the same exact thing. Your finances can be like your tour guide, right? It's telling you, hey, look, if you continue in this direction, you're gonna increase your risk, right? Hey, maybe foreclosures around the corner, bankruptcies around the corner. Hey, you know what? You've been paying this person $50,000 a year for a service, but yet they're only bringing in $20,000 a year. As business owners, we need to know all of that so we can start to make the adjustments where we need to and make sure that our company stays in the safe side uh, of business. Now, speaking of paying somebody 50,000 and they're only bringing in 20,000, that leads us into number two, which is really understanding what is costing us money. Now, as most businesses should, we're often concerned with our profitability, right? At the end of the day, how much do we keep inside of the company? And knowing where we're spending money and what is costing us money is equally, if not more important. So just like that example of that bad employee or maybe misplaced employee that's costing us $30,000 a year, right? Because we're paying them 50, but they're only bringing in 20. We need to know where the leaks are inside of the ship. By knowing how to read and adjust on these financial statements, well, hell, we'd be able to identify exactly where that leak is and we can go and plug it before we take on too much water. So after we plug all the holes, hey, at least we're still floating, right? Now, we're gonna stay on the boat analogy here. Now, imagine this, imagine us being in a boat and there's maybe six of us, there's a crew together and we have to row this boat in one direction. We want it to be as smooth and as fast as possible. Which do you think is smoother and faster? If we were rowing just whenever we want at any kind of cadence that we just wanted to, or if we were in unison and there was somebody keeping us on track so we would row all at the same time. Well, for all my crew team members out there, mind you, I was not on crew at all. I didn't even know that was a real thing until an adult, don't judge me. But anyway, you know the answer is that we wanna row in unison. By rowing in unison and on a certain cadence or a rhythm, what we're doing is we're maximizing the efficiency of each and every stroke, which leads us into the third reason why we need to know our finances as business owners is so that we can know how to optimize efficiency. A great example of this, all right, if we get our income statement and we know how to read this bad boy and understand it, well, it's actually gonna produce two different numbers for us. It's gonna produce our gross profit and our net profit. And because we understand efficiency metrics, we're actually gonna look at the profit margins between both of them. All right, a gross profit margin is gonna tell us how efficiently we got our product or service ready to be sold. So think of that as before the sale, how efficient is our processes and our procedures to get it to that point? Now the net profit margin, now this is saying, hey, based on all of the money that we made this year, how much was actually left over as profit? And this is after expenses, after salaries, and all that other good stuff. Well, now by looking at that number and that specific margin, we can see how efficient our entire operating and fulfillment process is, which is extremely important because as business owners, all we're really trying to do is improve our efficiency over and over again. Now, once we really understand all those things, the fourth major reason as to why we need to know our finances is because that will tell us if we're even on track to meet whatever goals that we set for ourselves. Now, I've been blessed to, to know and work with a ton of entrepreneurs, and I understand that the goals are different for everybody. Some people have large charitable goals, wanting to donate a million, five million, ten million dollars over the span of five to 10 years. 
Others have more simple goals like paying off debt or paying for their child's college tuition. Either way it goes, we have to be able to understand how our finances are reading so not only do we see how we're performing now, but we can kind of forecast or future predict how we intend to perform and how close or how long it's gonna take us to get to our goal. Which brings this thing full circle and leads us to the fifth reason why we really need to know our finances because ultimately, it allows us to make better decisions. Have you ever heard of the fight or flight response, right? When we get in a situation and something startles us, either we're gonna stand up and throw up our dukes or we're getting the hell out of there. Now there's no right or wrong response, right? This is just a reaction that's gonna be innate to us. Some of us are gonna be one way while others will be another. However, what's really happening during that moment is our mind is collecting data, funneling all the way through the options, all within milliseconds before we make our reaction. And I'm pretty sure we all can agree that the more information we have that is accurate, the better decision that we can make, even if it is quick or if it's long and deliberate. So why wouldn't we want the same information in our business? So having accurate data that we understand how to read and how to analyze can allow us to start to make those decisions when all of a sudden, you know what? We're not gonna cash flow positive this month. Our sales are down. Hey, two people just quit. Whatever the case is, we now know which direction or which decision will help us get back on track. So now that we know exactly why it's important, you probably should check out this video here, which talks about the specific skills that you need to know in finance as a business owner. So go ahead and check that out and I'll see you in the next video.